To some, OHS policies help keep us safe. To others, they're a massive pain in the ass. In this social experiment, Nazim poses as an overly zealous OHS officer. Will ordinary Australians appreciate being protected from themselves? These are his findings. I'm from the Health and Safety Department. Um, just look, we're just looking after the health and safety of patrons in this area. As you can see, it's a hot day today, and I'm going to have to ask you if you've put sunscreen on your head. Uh, okay, well, I've got some right here. I just need to make sure. There you go. I'll help you out. There you go. Yeah, I'm also worried that your head's a little bit shiny and it could dazzle people, so... Yeah. If I could ask you to stay in the shade a little bit so it doesn't reflect as much. Excuse me, sorry, you're not actually allowed to text and walk in this area. That's a safety hazard, so I'm going to have to ask you to either text and stand or put your phone away and walk. If, I, if now I can? Now you can walk. Okay. You finished texting? <laughs> your shoes are fine, but your shoes, the heels, I just need to measure the height of them if that's OK. Just to make sure it's not too high. So make sure it's at an acceptable height, otherwise you're going to have to sort off the heels. You guys together? Yeah, you're going to have to keep your partner on a lead, thanks, because... Uh, had a number of boyfriend related incidents around here and it's just a, it's just a matter of safety. There you go. It's a dog leaf. Are you from, from here? No, I'm from the States. OK, how long have you been here? Uh, I got here yesterday. So what time did you, did you land? Um, at 6 in the morning. 6 in the morning. If you're tired, you're basically a danger to yourself and to other people. So um, because I deem you jet lagged, I'm going to have to ask you to leave the area if that's OK. I'm not jet lagged. You're, you're technically still jet lagged. So just, just that way, thanks. Thank like, you. Do I look jet lagged or something? Yeah, you do look jet lagged. You're just wandering around no, aimlessly. No, just stay away from the water, thanks. I just don't want you to fall in. Did you have breakfast this morning? I did. And did you I floss had... after breakfast? No, because I just went to the restaurant and had it. <laughs> oh, I understand, but look, I'm going to have to ask you to floss then if that's okay. It's really good in there. Yeah. Sure, you can feel that. Yeah, I feel okay. Yeah. Keep going. Just go for a couple of minutes. Gum disease caused more deaths than uh, drink driving in 2013, so... Did you know that? Yeah. Listen, mate, a mug is an extremely dangerous weapon in the hands of a wrong person. Now, I know you might say that you're just using this for coffee or for a gift, but you can take someone's eye out with that. I don't know if you're a standover man. Are you a standover man? No. How am I to know that? I've got, um, deodorant. Any weapons? OK, deodorant. No. Let's just see how big that is. <laughs> That's more than 50 mils. That could be used as an explosive device. I'm going to have to confiscate that. <laughs> okay, if you tell me you love safety, I'll let you go. I love it, sorry. You need to say that you love right. safety this much. I love it this much. Even time. more. Just yell, I love safety. I love safety. Oh, there you go. Be safe, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>